Hey everybody, Craig here, CLP Bushcraft. So, I'm out in the woods today and I wanted to make this little video to show y'all some of the things that I use from nature, natural stuff, that I use for flash tinder to start my fires. Whether I'm coming over here to make a small fire to make up some coffee or cook lunch, or if I'm just needing to make it to stay warm. So, 99% of the time, I will have something that is a uh, fire starter with me. I always normally carry a lighter and all that, but I, I prefer to make my fire um, using a ferro rod and some kind of natural flash tender to get it going. So join me in this video and I will show y'all some of the stuff that I use on my property that's in my area that works great for flash. One thing that I do have an abundance of here is cedar trees. So with cedar trees, the bark on the outside is kind of rough, but if you scrape down, you can get a real fibrous material um, underneath. So I'm gonna be using my LT Wright knife. This is the uh, Scandi class knife, the one that I went to the shop and made, which is an awesome class to take. If you're ever uh, thinking about doing that, I would highly recommend it. You walk away with an amazing experience and an awesome knife. So what I'm gonna do is use the spine on the back of my knife to just scrape down and expose this fibrous material that will ignite when you hit it with a, a ferro rod. So I'm always over here carving. So it's one of my favorite things to do is come out in the woods and just sit and carve. So I've always got an abundance of cedar around that I've been using for carving and stuff. So with that, I will make a feather stick using my OT Wright Scandi class knife. And in no time, I can have a bunch of curls that are ready for the ferro rod. So on my property, I have uh, several pine trees. And with pine trees, you're gonna wind up having dead pine trees. And the stumps that's left behind is basically fat wood, solid fat wood. Um, like this big old stump you see behind me, this thing is nothing but solid resin. And this stuff is nature's lighter fluid. So I cut a piece of it off and show you this stuff ignites really fast and really easily, especially when you make uh, some curls on uh, out of it, like so, and strike a ferro rod with it. Another thing that is uh, very plentiful over here on my property is this grass. I'm not exactly sure what kind of grass this is, but once it dies like this and you kind of mash it up, it really ignites very well. Works really good for a bird's nest too if you're wanting to use um, a bow drill or a hand drill. So here's everything we collected is flash tender. So first off, here's the cedar bark. And basically what I did is just put it in my hand and roughed it around until it got really, really fibrous. That's the grass that we picked. Same with it. Put it in hands and rub it together to get it real fibery. There's the fat wood. I just cut off a few little slivers of it and the feather stick I made. So individually, I will hit the ferro rod to these and show you how they ignite. Okay, so let's start out with the cedar bark first. And I will be using an LT Wright ferro rod and my LT Wright Scandi knife class knife that I made. So let's see how this does. Want to. There we go. Almost.
There it goes, not the fastest stuff, but it will work. Let's try another. Next up, the feather stick. We all know these work great. Next up, we'll use the grass that we harvested and uh, broke up into little fibers with our hands. And it works pretty well. Okay, last up, but definitely not the least, the fatwood shavings. <laughs> it works amazingly good. Fatwood is a good resource if you come across it. So as you've seen, it didn't take long for us to find four different kinds of flash tenders to use to get a fire started. So what's in your area? Get out and explore and see what works. Experiment. Some stuff might work good. Some stuff might not work. Like here, the birch or the um, cedar bark works. It's not the best in the world. Definitely ain't as good as fat wood, but it will work. So see what's in your area. You never know when you might need it. But I appreciate y'all watching this video. Until the next one.